Okay, so moving on to your next lesson of watercolour, we're going to talk today more about the warm and the cool colours and the layers, building up the layers. As I, as I said to you in the last lesson, one of the most important things is to make sure you have hair dryer as well uh, to dry off the layers. Um, so, we're going to go with the Venetian technique, so the idea of putting down the cool colours first and then the... Um, the warmer colours and then using a nexus colour which is a colour which brings them together and brings a balance and a harmony. Um, it's neither a cool or a warm colour, a kind of in-between colour. Um, you start off obviously we're using watercolour, we want to use the opaque, the transparency of the paint, we don't want to apply it thick, we want to use the nature and the beauty of this technique of, of being very fluid. Um, so it's very important you have a very large pot of water uh, so you can use that water and you know the paint will dilute and um, just you won't go brown and affect the watercolour too quickly as you're washing your brushes. Obviously you have your paints nearby, I always tend to have it quite near to the papers, you can go back and forth quite quickly. Something to mix it on, doesn't have to be a palette, can just be a plate or something like that. Um, and because we're doing layers we want it to, to dry off. Um, so you're going to start with the cool colours, so the cool colours, the colours of water, icy kind of colours, um, the blues, but when you're doing it, make sure you've got paper by the side, because when you put it on the palette, and then you put it on the paper, it can look very different. We don't want it dark like that to start with, we want it very pale and fluid and opaque. So I'm just going to take a little bit over um, and just water it down. So we're going to put in some of the shadows and structures, I've pre-drawn this uh, drawing here just so we can get started quickly, you're going to capture uh, the shadows underneath the bones and the structure of the face, um, working all the way over the picture, so not just, you know, we'll even put some of this colour um, into whatever you're drawing, I'm doing a face here obviously, but I'm going to go into the hair a little bit there, um, underneath the neck, so just working almost like the brush is dancing across the page, not concentrating too much on one area and keeping it, like I said, very light. Now if you put a bit too much paint, it's always really useful to have a bit of tissue or handy as well, just to dab it off before it soaks in too much and becomes permanent. Now, um, when you're happy, you've worked into it and put some of the shadows in, the cooler tones, dry it off. Um, when you're drying, don't put the hairdryer really close to do it quickly, because it will affect the colour. Just take it fairly far away, about a hand's width away, and move it gently across. Uh, just to dry off that layer so you can work over the top. Now, I say that, obviously, you might want to push the paint and have some dripping and effects, but you need to think, is that what you want? When you're testing it to see if it's dry, I tend to use the back of my hand because it's, it's just drier rather than your finger trips. Um, and test for the warmth of the paper because warm paper will drag the, the paint in. This side I've already pre dried off so now I'm going to work in with the warmer colours so your warm colours, colours of the sun, the fiery colours. Um, I've mixed here a kind of orangey yellow colour. Again test it on your tester sheet make sure that's what you wanted and now we're going to work back into um, because it's dry it's going to sit on the top and we get this lovely layering of one colour showing the other through it um, and the colour mixing going on, so you can start building up, okay, the layers. Um, again, you know, watercolour, very much blending is part of it, so sometimes you might want to do wet on wet, but we're just kind of talking about the layering technique at the moment here. So then you'd work, again, you'd work all the way over, you'd work into the hair, you'd work just building up these layers in this uh, the Venetian technique. Okay, um, now, I've used um, here just a fairly small brush, but you might want to go for a bigger one which retains water more, so you can have the more flowy effects of the water. So say I wanted to have the light hitting that cheekbone, I'd go for a bigger one where I could put a nice wash of colour um, and even dab some of the colour in while it's still wet coming across there. So I've gone for some, you know, again, you'd be working this, you'd probably be putting layers even between the warm and cool colours, so drying it off and working back into it. Um, again, this area down here, I've dried that off already. So I'm going to go for my Nexus colour now. And the Nexus colour, uh, magenta is a good uh, Nexus colour because it's kind of like a uh, mixture between uh, a bluey and a reddy colour. So it's kind of um, both warm and cool. It's, it's an in-between one. 
Um, again, testing sheets, making sure that you're getting the shade you want. For me, that's a bit too vibrant. I want to go for a bit paler, at least at this point. I can build it up later, so test off the color that you want. And then you can um, work back into it and start thinking about where the shadows will be. Now again, um, testing it on the paper, try testing it on top of that color you put on before, because now we're layering, of course, the color against the white will be different to what it's gonna look like on top of those blues or those yellows, the warms and the cools colors. Um, think about your brush marks as well. You don't want all the same, 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 yeah? So sometimes change your brush, uh, go back to a bigger one or something, um, and build up some of those exciting brush marks in the hair and stuff like that, okay? But the main things, water pot to hand, test your colors, hair dry, make sure you're drying it to get those layers secure before you start building up the next layer. Okay, have a good lesson. Look forward to seeing what you do today.